when we're defining our web services, another one of the annotations we might utilize is the AMPR web method. So with the AMPR web method, I can identify methods inside of my class that are actually going to be exposed through the web service interface. So I can use this to customize and pick and choose which particular methods I'm going to be exposing. In this particular uh, implementation with this annotation, I don't need to throw the remote exception like we had to do with the JAX RPC style. So there's a couple of attributes that we can pass through this AMPR web method option. We can pass action related information. We can pass in information about uh, the operation name that we have plugged in here. So here we're looking at an example of the AMPR web method as it's being uh, plugged in with a public interface. I can also exclude different sets of methods with an attribute and I can plug in the operation name. Now, I don't need to use the AMPR web method if I plan on exposing all of the methods in an interface or in a class as a service. If I leave this particular annotation out, it simply assumes that every method in the uh, business class is going to be exposed uh, as a uh, available method through the interface. If I plug it in one time, then I then I'm going to be required to utilize this particular annotation for every method I wish to incorporate into the interface.